differentiate the function y equals x cubed times e to the x squared plus 3. So let's start by prepping this a little bit right here. There's not a lot to do. We have x cubed times e to the x squared plus 3, but let's put that expression in parentheses so we can see the e term. Now notice that this is a product of two functions, so we're going to use the product rule. So the derivative is going to be the derivative of the first term times the second times e to the x squared plus 3 plus the first function, which is x cubed, times the derivative of the second function. So I'll leave some space for that. Now let's go and take the derivatives. The derivative of x cubed, which goes in this first spot here, is 3x squared. The derivative of the second term, e to the, e to this power, well the derivative of e to the blank is always going to be e to the blank times the derivative of blank. And now we'll just focus on that blank. The blank is x squared plus 3. Its derivative is 2x. And so here is our raw, uncleaned derivative. Let's spruce it up a little bit. This is going to be 3x squared times e to the x squared plus 3. And the next term we have a 2, so we'll put that in front. We have x and an x cubed, so x to the fourth, times e to the x squared plus 3. Now that we've cleaned up the terms, let's look for factors. Notice that there are powers of x in both terms. So we can pull an e, uh, x squared, sorry. There's also this e term common to both, so we can factor it out, the e to the x squared plus 3 term. When we factor that out, we're going to be left with the following. We'll have a 3 left over from the first piece, and we're going to have a 2x squared left over from the second piece. And so this x squared times the expression 2x squared plus 3 times e to the x squared plus 3, I'm just rearranging it to make it easier to read, that would be our final derivative.